autumn is upon us. Or fall, because that's what the leaves do in it. And here in Japan, we are blessed with seasonal flavours aplenty. And as you've no doubt gathered from the title of the video, this is all about Kit Kats. But I must preface this with some information. Last year, they did a really good Halloween uh, version of Kit Kat. Um, they did a pudding flavour, a Japanese pudding flavour, and it was very, very good. But I can't find it this year. The only Halloween stuff I can find is just the standard milk chocolate, but repackaged. Bad, bad show. Um, they usually do that for every season. Easter, Christ Mass, that sort of thing. Um, they just repackage the, the standard ones. But I have some very unique ones today. Let's waggle this in front of the camera. Oh yes, it's autumn and it's chestnut. Chestnut flavor Kit Kat. Mini times 12, they're about 260 yen, I think, maybe more. I've forgotten, I have completely forgotten. Um, yeah, as you can see by the package, very eye-catching, very autumnal. Um, oh God, I wish I looked at this. Uh, if you can read Japanese, there you go. Um, mm, I think it's chestnut flavor and uh, chestnut flavor chocolate and there's chestnut flavor cream inside. Um, yeah, that's good. There's chestnut powder in the cream. Okay, well, without further stalling for time, let's rend the package and have a look at the thing inside. You go very fetching packaging. We see all colours. Red and brown leaves. Yeah, what does that say? Oh, sorry, that's just the hurigana. Aki goody. Aki goody. Yeah, that's nice. Let's just, let's get it out and have a look and then have a taste like. Well, it's the same kind of colour as your white chocolate, just slightly darker. In fact, it's very similar to the pudding colour. Uh, and it's already melting because it feels like summer today for some horrible reason. Uh, it's melting. Okay, well, that didn't even snap. That's how hot it is. All right, I'm going to taste it. Hmm, okay. Well, there's the inside. Focus. There we go. Ugh. Um, yeah, not much to show, really. Hmm. Okay. That's really underwhelming, actually. It's a very subtle flavour. Uh, I would not be able to tell that's chestnut. Uh, I, do. I don't think I've eaten enough chestnuts to be able to tell you that. But it's very sweet and very creamy. Um, it, it kind of just tastes like sweet milk chocolate, really. Unless you really like chestnut, then probably wouldn't recommend this one. Um, like I say, I haven't really eaten enough chestnut to know, um, to be able to identify one as it's slathered on a Kit Kat. Well, that one was very sweet. Um, and unfortunately, the next one looks just as sweet. Yep, sweet potato, aki imo. Uh, it's literally autumn potato. Um... Yeah, it's the same kind of colour by the looks of it. Um, and yeah, very similar package design to the previous one. Just a different colour. The colour of potatoes. Sweet potatoes, at least. Rest in peace, headphone users, I'm sorry. And there it is. There's the inside packet. And yeah, it's exactly the same affair. I imagine they just do these as a set, really, because they were right next to each other in the old supermarket. Let's peer at it. Oh, this looks a little lighter in colour. If you could hide this next to a white chocolate Kit Kat, no one would be able to tell the difference. Well, there is the colour difference. Yeah, I, I would say this is just the colour of white chocolate. Let's give it a snap. Oops, oh god, I dropped it. Blech. Okay, let's eat that.
Yep. Well, the news is it's very sweet, which is, which is nice. It is a chocolate after all. It is a candy. The good news is that is clearly sweet potato. I taste tested a dumpling and sweet potato one bef uh, a few months ago, which I might link. Uh, and yeah, they've really got the sweet potato flavour nailed perfectly. Um, if you've ever been to uh, like a Don Quixote or a store in Japan that sells food, you'll probably know the smell of the sweet potato. And it tastes just like that smell. So yeah, full points there. Just lose a few points for being very, very sweet. And those are the only two new autumn flavours I could find this year. We do have a bonus though. And that bonus is adult sweetness. So I'm hoping these will be a little less sweet. I've already eaten two. Uh, Hojicha. And there it is. Uh, which is just a kind of tea over here. It's a very nice tea, actually. Oh, well, it actually says how much is used. That's a that's a miracle number, that is. Um, I had something with coffee in the other day, and it was 0.4. 0.4% hoji chat is used. Let's check the other ones. Oh, there's one less sweet potato. Oh, they didn't tell me that. Um, that just says it uses potato. Well, there's real potato in there. Uh, and this one also says it uses um, chestnuts. Well, that's fascinating. Uh, okay, let's go back to these ones for the time being. Yeah. Oh, we can actually check the sweetness. Ah, that's that's interesting. You've got all of the different um, things on here. Uh, but on the other ones, you've only got calories. Fascinating. There's something they're not telling us. Okay. Well, this one, I already have these. I'm going to eat them here. So yeah, very plain packaging because it's for adults and we are devoid of fun and crushed by life, etc, etc, by the lies. Um, yeah, this one is a lot darker. It's it's almost um, sick coloured, but it doesn't taste like sick. Well, I... yeah, well, there you go. <clears throat> All right, let's eat it, shall we? Mmm, it's good. Now, I'd say it does actually taste like like the tea, it's just a lot sweeter. Uh, much like matcha flavoured Kit Kats, tastes like matcha, but very sweet. Um, yeah, this is the same deal here, but these are a lot more earthen taste. And I guarantee if you're a foreigner and you try one of these thinking it's going to be as nice as the matcha ones, you will probably be very shocked when you put it in your mouth because it I, I i've heard people say the matcha ones taste like grass now i lack their culinary experience but for me it tastes sweet and nice but the first kind of bite of this does taste a little um earthen let's just say it's um it might take you whoop it might take you by surprise uh anyway so that is our triad of snacks chestnut Sweet potato, hoji cha. These two are autumnal. This one is just knocking about in stores right about now. Um, would I recommend these? I wouldn't recommend buying anything from Nestle, quite frankly. Um, <clears throat> but uh, if you really like Kit Kats and you know people who like sweet potato or chestnuts or tea, then yeah, they're a good thing to buy. But they are. They have my thumbs up. So thanks for joining me on this culinary expedition. I'm going to eat these now. So yeah.